In this video, I paint the Little Mermaid using an iPad and Procreate, which if you follow my channel, you know I'm spending the next year doing that. Uh, pretty happy with the way this painting turned out. Um, I hope you guys like it too. So let's get into the time lapse and I'll kind of talk my way through some of the stuff that I liked and didn't like. So as you'll see uh, watching me paint here that this looks nothing like the finished painting that I ended up, you know, coming to. The, the mermaid is completely different. And this is a good point for any artist to, to understand. You, you can always start over. And that's what happened to me here. So you can see I get kind of far along with the, the figure and the gesture. And I realize it's total crap and it looks horrible and I, I keep drawing on her face thinking that'll save it I add some details when uh, like from the start I just should have known that I should have started over but anyway finally after messing around a ton with it as you can see I do end up starting over and thank God I did so starting over um, because that first part just wasn't looking right at all uh, it's also another point to be had there. A lot of times I do my best work when I've had some warm-ups. Uh, so I mess around for a little while doing some sketches and stuff like that. I rarely do that, which I should do it a lot more. But when I do that and then I move on to, you know, a, f a final idea, it always ends up better. So at this point of the painting, I really like her pose. I love the foreshortening of her body as she's coming at uh, in she's coming towards the viewer but going into this cave so we're kind of in the cave looking at her um, and I just feel like it's an interesting pose so I was really happy with that uh, the one thing I wanted to make sure I captured here uh, was kind of like atmospheric haze of the water so that her back arm there's no detail in it and it's much darker and that was a major part of what I'm working on now as well as the lighting uh, I really liked the lighting in this. I felt like I, I didn't add a lot of detail to the underside of her where her stomach is and the bottom of her tail. I wanted those things to be shadow. Uh, and one mistake I've always made in the past with my drawings is everything's kind of the same detailed. Uh, and it's something I've really wanted to get away from uh, moving forward to where if something is in shadow, you know, it's less, there's less detail, less going on there and to really focus on areas that the light is hitting and that are um, a focal point. So right here you're going to see me add kind of a transparency to the painting and it was a kind of a purplish blue um, and I did that because I really wanted all the colors to be unified and that's one advantage of working digitally is you know you can add those things and it really helps unify your color scheme. Uh, so I felt like that turned out pretty cool. The other thing I did is I used the eraser tool to kind of erase her tail into that blue. So it looks like it's kind of moving away from you. Um, I felt like that helped give the painting some depth as well. Uh, so I'm just going to replay this part real quick because I feel like it's important to talk about. I felt like her neck, her head was too close to her body. So right there you can see that I just lasso tooled her head and moved it away from her body a little bit and I feel like it helped the painting so much and that's one of the other things I really like about digital art is once you get really far along into a painting say you're almost done and you realize you made a terrible mistake on something you can totally fix it uh, having that like ability makes painting so much less stressful for me because I know that at any given time I can just go and change anything I want really. Um, especially if I keep my layers and stuff. So I love that about digital painting. And I feel like that that whole deal like allows me to be f a little bit more free with my with my painting and my drawing, which is something I've always had a hard time with letting the paint fly, I guess you'd say. So digital painting has really freed me up and made me paint a lot looser, which I feel like has made my paintings a lot better. So anyway, uh, that's the video, just a short little video on painting the Little Mermaid, just another stepping stone um, in this process of learning to digitally paint. 
Uh, I feel like, like I said, I, I like the way this one turned out. My daughter absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, hope you guys liked the video and uh, thanks for watching.